Rukia, who'll be presenting today's Your Event. Asalaamu As Alaikum and welcome to Your Event. I'm Rukia Khatun and today I'm here at the Lee Valley Athletic Centre for the Muslim Scout Fellowship Olympics 2017, where Cubs and Scouts have come from all over the UK to come here and compete in the national sporting events. I'm curious to find out what the sports are and to of course talk to a few Cubs and Scouts. So let's go inside and find out more. It's clear to see the hard work and dedication that the team and volunteers have put into organising this event. As you enter the building, you can definitely feel a buzz of excitement. More than 700 Muslim Scouts have gathered together in this arena today. With everybody seated, it's time to start the opening ceremony. Good luck to all participants. Let the competition begin. Now that the competition has started, let's take a look at where Rookie is. Assalamu alaikum wakar. Thank you very much for speaking to me today. Thank you guys for being here. No, we really, really appreciate it. It's a wonderful event. Um, but of course, this event couldn't, be, couldn't have come into existence without the actual Muslim Scout Fellowship. So tell me, what was your involvement? How did you get started? Tell me a little bit about Muslim Scout Fellowship. How did I get started? Yeah. Oh, okay. So um, I uh, joined scouting uh, a little while back. Um, and when I joined one of the local groups in Luton as a leader, I uh, turned up to a training weekend. And um, alhamdulillah, from there I saw the inspirational work that the team was already doing and it inspired me and uh, I felt like I needed to get involved. So uh, it was just turning up to a training weekend uh, to become a, uh, to gain my modules, end up becoming part of the team, alhamdulillah. And that was the beginning of my journey with MSF. Mashallah, and from what I gather and from what I've learned so far, it's all about bringing people together, but also going out to people to encourage them. How do you manage to get into the communities all around the UK? So uh, scouting speaks for itself really. When other people see the amazing things that young people are achieving and how they're developing, so they go from an age of six and they develop into young leaders who are leading events as big as this and holding massive gatherings where even more young people can come together and develop their characteristics, their skills, people naturally want to get inspired. And if you just look around us, look at the buzz today, alhamdulillah, do you not want to be part of this already? So uh, this, this is this that draws people in itself. So the Muslim Scout Fellowship, otherwise known as MSF, started in 1997, 98, uh, with some adults, some Muslim leaders that wanted to do something for their children in a Muslim environment. And from then on it grew. Scouting itself has been going on for a number of years. And the two, Islam and Scouting, perfectly linked together. They have the, so many values that are in common. Uh, and it's beautiful to see how Muslims have incorporated Scouting and how scouting is incorporating Muslims into their, 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 their you know, how they operate. Uh, and again, it's all about the shared values of what we represent and what we stand for. Um, the, the common values, I say values again, because that's what it's all about, based on. Um, so, that, I mean, you can see now, it started off in a garage, 97, with a few leaders and a few parents. 
and look at it now. I mean, this is just London. We have seven, over 700 children here today um, just competing. And we're going to be going up north where we've just got over 600 children competing. So you can see it's grown, it's growing, it's constantly growing. And alhamdulillah, I mean, inshallah, it's always growing. It's always getting bigger, better and bigger. Um, and we just ask everyone to keep us in the du'as. And um, inshallah, we can keep the work going on. Tell me a little bit about what you're doing here today. Okay. So today, all our, well, most of our events, MSF, rely on volunteers. Um, so it's quite a big role. Um, so my job is to make sure that everyone has a role in this event. Everyone's happy with what they're doing. All the volunteers are fed, they drank, everything. Um, make sure that they're ready for what they're doing. They know exactly what their role is. Um, so yeah, that's basically <laughs> in a nutshell. So you're looking after the volunteers who play a massive role in events like this. What kind of stuff do the volunteers do today? Um, well, literally from whoever organised this event all the way to um, running the activities, um, to the registration, to the first aid. So all, all the elements in this event are all uh, run by volunteers and most of them are between the age of 16 to 18. So it's a very, very young age and what we try and do in Scouts is to get them in the responsibility from a young age so that when, you know, when they're like in their 20s, their, their, their mid-20s, mid they're able to lead on these events um, and it's like a cycle. Um, so get the younger ones in and then get them prepared to actually lead on. Um, so that's one of the main important roles that, that, that we try and do and focus on with volunteers. Is it difficult to engage communities and in, in, in scouting and get the children involved at a young age, I guess? Um, communities, sometimes it can be. Um, there, there's a stigma around scouting that it's a British youth club. Um, and actually, it couldn't be far more from it. Scouting is a, a very culturally diverse um, and co-gender uh, community uh, group uh, and if you look at w uh, statistics worldwide um, out of 40 million scouts around the world 70% around about are Muslim so subhanallah you know the, these stats like this um, tell you why more people should be part of it so when you let the community know about things like this and and you try and break those barriers or the misconception and get talking explain about the amazing work that's happening yeah, then it's easy to engage. I think it was just an idea that a volunteer had. I mean, and that's the beautiful thing about it. It's because it's run by volunteers. We, if we have an idea of something like the Olympics, where we say, Do you know what, let's get all the kids together and compete in like an Olympic style event. And we're keeping it, you know, the, the, the guys can compete against the guys and the girls against the girls. And we're trying to keep the, it's keeping the halal values, etc. Um, and in a nice enclosed Islamic environment, you know, we're going to be praying all together, the big jama'ah. And it's something that like a valley like the valley like this, the centre itself, has never seen. I've got the privilege of being here with one of the founders of Muslim Scout Fellowship. So, Assalamu alaikum, brother Mehdi. Wa alaikum salam wa barakatuh. My name is Mahdi Boujama. Uh, we start with the 11 Salman Laban Scout Group. Uh, we start in garage, really, yeah, with uh, so the small community uh, in Haru. Uh, we found at that time that uh, really the young people, mostly the children, need some activity, some environment, uh, Islamic environment, activity with Islamic environment. And uh, because I'm scouting uh, in Tunisia, I'm originally from Tunisia, uh, I'm scouting there. Uh, we feel that uh, scouting maybe it's the best movement uh, for the Muslim community to start. Uh, taking care of their generation for their kids, their children, and uh, after that, the young people. We start as uh, 11 Sam Malibu in uh, 1998, uh, and after that, we, we, we try to, uh, yeah, to, to cover more part of uh, the UK. Uh, we went to Cardiff, uh, Birmingham, Manchester, and alhamdulillah, some of our leaders uh, who with us uh, in 11 Sam Malibu, they went to Cardiff, they went to Birmingham, and also they start uh, new groups. From there, uh, alhamdulillah, one after one after one. And uh, about 2003, 2004, we found really, uh, we have many groups in UK. Why not? Because uh, in, uh, with scouting, really, you are uh, uh, linked with uh, your district. That means with Scout Association. And uh, after that, we said, okay, it's a group there, group here, and we have really to be linked as uh, Muslim groups. And uh, we founded a Muslim Scout Fellowship. The Muslim Scout Fellowship really is not, we are part of the Scout Association. It's not a, a separate entity. No, 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 we are uh, from Scout Association. We discuss with them the program, the, our strategy, and they agree for that. And uh, we like uh, represent the Scout Association uh, in the Muslim uh, community. 
you've just told me everything. I don't need to really ask you any more <laughs> questions. Um, but it must be so nice to see these young adults now who are once seven, eight year olds in, in places like this taking the lead so you can just sit back and watch them lead. Yeah, yeah, and advise them. Really, this, uh, I'm also uh, running the Islamic Center. I feel there is problem there. The, the older one need to, to see, the, not to see, to control of it. They think they are, they, they are more knowledge, more responsible uh, to, to take care. No, 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 no. It's, it's, it's now their future. We have to take them, the, take the, to give them the opportunity. It's, it's, it's for them really to, 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 to go f further. Okay, we did our best. We did our bit. We start, okay? But as for me, for example, uh, with my group, 11 Sam Alibon, I feel the new cubs and beavers and some uh, also scout. I'm not there. I, I can't really uh, deal with them uh, uh, with the good name. It's why, yeah, the, the next generation, they, they, they understand them, they think like them, they approach them better than me. Give them the opportunity. Yeah, if we give them the opportunity, they will do a great, great job. For us, we are here, we help you. Advice here, we advise you, we, we, we give you a hand. Yeah, we are behind you. But my view, yeah, give them the opportunity. They are amazing, they do a good job. They did a good job before and alhamdulillah now and I think in the future also they will do a good job. Give them the opportunity to lead, to take the responsibility, not just to, 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 to be in the other side or after you. No, no, no. Give them the opportunity. They will do a good job, inshallah. My message to anybody looking to get involved in scouting, um, do it. Just get involved. Um, whether it's five minutes a week, whether it's ten minutes a week, or whether you can give up a few hours a week, get involved. There's something that you can do, there's something that you can give to the community. So, Asalaamu Alaikum, and I'm really excitedly joined here by some scouts. What are your names? My name is Benjamin. Uzair. Mohammed. Hisham. And what's the name of your scouts? Say it again. Seventh Newham. Seventh Newham, which means you're based in Newham, I take it. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to start with you. What have you been doing today? Sports. What kind of sports? Shot put and javelin. And, and tug of war. The tug of war. How was the tug of war? Um, bad. Why? We lost. But why did you lose? Because uh, they were older than us. Okay. So you were telling me, that, so there's different levels of the scouts. So go through them for me again. Uh, there's um, beavers, then there's cubs, scouts, and then explorers. And you are all scouts, right? Yes. So how have you found today? Has it been good? Yeah. What's your favourite thing about today so far? Um, losing in tug of war. Why was the best thing? Because my hands hurt now. Oh. So you feel like you really, really worked? Yeah. Kind of thing. Say that again? I tried my best. And that's all that counts. So tell me, guys, over here, um, what do scouts mean for you? Um, to survive. Yeah. <laughs> and be prepared. Yeah. And, and why do you go to scouts? Because um, my parents paid for it. <laughs> Okay, do you enjoy going to scouts? Yes. Yeah. What is it about scouts that you really enjoy? Um, camp yeah. and um, the activities. Yeah. Are, are these the kind of things you would do if you didn't go to scouts? No. Yeah. Um, if, if there's young people out there who've never been to scouts, what would you tell them to encourage them to come to scouts? I will tell them that they, ha they can have a lot of fun here and they can also uh, learn life skills that they can use later. So I know you've got lots of activities to come and um, best wishes for them and get it for Newham. Yeah. Newham. Look who I found. Salam alaikum Tuba. Salam alaikum salam. Okay, how are you? I'm good, thank you very much. Of course, you're presenting the Kids Channel today, aren't you? Yep. But not only that, you've won yourself some awards. Tell me about them. Uh, well, I've won them in long jump, relay and sprinting and they're from the previous years. And um, so what are you doing here today then? Tell me, because I know it's something slightly more different than just competing, isn't it? Well, I'm gonna now. Pr 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 oopsie yeah. daisies. Uh, pr 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 again. Can we do it again? Pr okay. Again. Um, and so this time around, it's a little bit different from last year because you're doing something a little bit different. What are you doing? Well, now I'm just gonna be presenting for uh, Islam Channel Kids Buzz. Yeah. And and when did you start presenting for Islam Channel Kids Buzz? Around end of 2016. So so actually, you should hold the mic and you should be asking me questions. Yeah. Go for it. When did you first start like representing uh, presenting? I started. So you move the mic over to me. 
So I started presenting for Islam Channel about three years ago. And the beautiful thing about presenting is I get to come to events like this, learn all about the scouts, which you are, and, and meet lots of interesting people and get them to share their experiences. Isn't that a wonderful thing? Yeah. Uh, why did you start presenting shows like this? Um, I enjoyed it. I, I, was, I enjoyed talking to people, essentially. And because I like talking to people, I just thought, why not talk to people on camera? Do you have any tips for presenting like this? I think I should ask you, what's your biggest tip that you could give me as a presenter? Well, you need to try and forget that the camera's there and try and like be yourself. Because if you try and act like, I don't know, if you see somebody on TV and they're doing everything so perfectly and then you try and act like them, it might not show out as you being you. So yeah, just be you. Um, so guys, I'm out of a job now because Tuba is going to be presenting the next Euro event, obviously. Thank you very much for your time and I look forward to seeing your show. That's nice. Bye-bye. Having spoken to Tuba about her experience, let's see how she got along with interviewing the UK Chairman of the Muslim Scout Fellowship. Assalamu alaikum, how are you? Wa alaikum assalam, I'm fine, thank you, how are you? I'm good, uh, alhamdulillah. So, what is your role here at MSF? So my role within MSF is I'm the Chairman of the Muslim Scout Fellowship, so I look after the volunteer team that runs Muslim Scouting in the UK. Wow. What's scouting to you? So scouting is all about young people, it's about people like yourself getting involved, having fun, having adventure, taking part and growing to becoming leaders. Yeah, true. How do you think scouting is going to go on to the future generation? I think for the last 15 years scouting has grown, year on year, it's going to continue growing and we're going to have more people like yourself coming part, not just taking part in the Olympics, but being leaders and you're going to become leaders and you're going to have your own scouts groups and we're going to have more and more Muslim scouts in the UK inshallah. Inshallah, thank you very much. Thank you. Away from the hustle and bustle of the event, there's also time for prayer and worship. A very well done to all the participants, especially to the Muslim Scout Group Al Ghazali for winning first place. A big congratulations to you all. Well, this has been a fantastic event. I'm totally impressed by the young scouts here who have been taking part in the long jump, the long distance running, the short distance running. And it really reminds me of like why I love sports so much and how important it is to encourage younger children to get involved at an early age. Um, I've learned lots about the Muslim Scouts Fellowship and where they've begun. And inshallah, I have great hopes for where they're going. They, of course, will be at the Olympics tomorrow in Sheffield. But from now, it's Asalaamu Alaikum. <laughs>